So I bought a new drawing tablet because I've been following all these Instagram artists and I thought it would make me a better drawer. Well, apparently it didn't. Unfortunately, it's too late to return it, so I might as well just use it to teach interview questions, which is why I'm here. So one of my favorite interview questions, uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious if you can solve it. So ready? Okay. You have a function called I don't know, random, that generates a number from zero to one randomly, and it's uniformly distributed. Now calculate the number pi. Now, I really like this question because it, it sounds so absurd in the beginning, right? It's almost as if as, um, it's almost similar to this question. Uh, Zoe has four apples. Zoe gives one apple to Tom, and then she gives two apples to Gary. Now calculate the mass of the sun. Anyways, you can try to solve it, but uh, let's go to the drawing board. Oh, shit. Sorry. I, I think that's the wrong window. Um, it's a really nice looking Patrick, though. I wonder who drew it. So the basic idea is to randomly draw points from a one to one square or like a one to one grid, since you can call the random function twice. And then what happens is that you get two numbers and then you'll use them one for the x axis and one for the y axis. So for example, if x becomes 0 0.2 and y becomes 0 0.6, then what you're going to get is like maybe a point somewhere like here, right? So why don't we draw a few more of these? Now I'm going to give you a hint. So I'm going to draw something and I think you will know how to do it now. So as you can see, the goal here is to count all the points in the circle and count all the points in the square. The ratio between these two numbers will be pretty close to the ratio between the total area of this circle and the total area of this square. So how do you know if the point is in the circle or not? Well, it's pretty simple. You just take the distance between the point to the origin. And if it's smaller than one, then it's in the circle. For example, let's take this one. All right. So that line, what is the distance? Well, the distance is basically x squared plus y squared, square root of that, right? And then if that is smaller than one, then it's in the circle. If it's bigger than one, then it's outside the circle, but still inside the square. And then now it's just basic algebra, right? So we all know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. Oh, oh you didn't know? <laughs> Fucking idiot. And then in this case, the area of a square would be two times r, and then you square that. And then with this ratio, it's going to be the same as the ratio of the number of points in the circle. So num point circle divided by the number of total points. So total. So then now what we want to do is we just want to isolate pi. So that's pretty easy because we know that r equals 1 here. So this can be gone. This becomes 2. 2 to the 2 becomes 4. And then we just put the 4 to the other side. So now it becomes pi equals 4 times the number of points in the circle divided by the number of points total, right? I don't want to write it. So I'm just going to draw these uh, booby looking things. At least it's color coded, so that's nice. And then if you want a good example, so we could actually count them. Okay, how many points do we have? What if you provide, I don't know, maybe eight, eight points here. And then how many points do we have total? Like maybe two more points here. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not counting, but you know, let's just say it's eight divided by 10. So we get eight divided by 10 times four. I guess that's pi, right? And then, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, coding it should be pretty easy, so I'm not gonna go over it. Actually, actually. Actually, actually, I changed my mind. Um, I think I am going to show you the code for it. And uh, yeah, because I feel like I can explain it a little bit better while coding. So let's do that. Okay. 
All right, cool. So we got our online repo right now. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, start coding it. So what we want to do is call it estimate pi. And then I'm going to give it an n. n meaning how many points do I actually want to put in. So the more points, the more accurate, right? Okay, cool. So then first, I want to know how many points are in the circle. We'll initialize to that to zero. And then also how many points are in to toto, meaning in the square. So then next, what we have to do is just keep looping and keep adding these points. So this means we're just looping n times. Mm, okay, uh, let's see, is it is it this? Is it rent? No, that's not it. Rent. Hmm. Okay, let me check something. Okay, excellent. Okay. Uh, Python random. Okay, cool. Random uniform. Got it. Got it. All right. So first I want to give my X a number uniform from zero to one. Same thing with my Y. Zero to one. And then we want to calculate the distance. So the distance with x squared plus y squared. And then, yeah, we're just going to keep it at that. We don't need to square root because what we care about is if the distance is smaller than 1. So if you square root something that's smaller than 1, it's going to be smaller than 1. If you square root something that's bigger than 1, it's going to be bigger than 1. So who cares? All right, circle. So then if it is inside like if it's smaller than one then that means it's inside circle so we add one and then no matter what we're just going to add it to the point to the total got it and then in the end i think that's pretty much it uh, remember when we did our algebra we did the formula we saw what pi was so there you go you just return pi and in pi we remember that it's four times the number of points in the circle divided by the number of points in total Okay, let's try this out. Excellent. All right, um, estimate pi. Imagine if I just want 10 points in there. Oh, God damn it. All right. Uh, random, okay. Let's try this again. Estimate pi. Excellent. So 3.6, pretty close. I guess the more uh, points we put into our uh, graph, the more uh, accurate it becomes. <laughs> that is not more accurate. Okay, maybe a thousand. Okay, there we go. 3.17. Uh, pi is actually 3.14. So, okay. Okay, yeah, a little bit more accurate. Uh, let, let me check what pi is actually. 3.1415. Okay. Maybe 100,000. Okay, getting closer. 3.14. And remember, this is random. So each time you press it, or sorry, each time you call it, it's going to give you something different. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Yeah, so let's try another one. Let's just add another zero. Okay, cool, yeah, almost 3.1415. It's probably not gonna get that accurate. Let's just add one more zero. I mean, it's not my computer anyway, so I'm not paying for the compute cost. Hmm. It is quite long. Okay, oh wow, 3.1415, actually that's pretty accurate. Yeah, so there you go, that's what uh, that's what it is and that's how you do it. So yeah, all right, cool. And uh, I hope that was helpful and back to the video. Uh, yeah, coding it should be pretty easy so I'm not gonna go over it. That's pretty much it, peace. <laughs>